Hey, what's up guys? Andrew and Remote Waves. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to review an RDA from Bricks Makino Innovation PH. And I'm talking about the Yuri RDA. Stay tuned. There you go guys, that's the quick view of the URI RDA by Bricks Makino Innovation PH. I hope you like it guys. Today we're going to review this um, low profile RDA. And well, the maker is claiming that this is an all-in-one low profile RDA. So let's na natin if this will live up to its claim. As I've mentioned in a previous vlog, natin, which is the beer mug vlog. So yeah, use the URI RDA on top of the... Um, Conciliary mod by Z2 Mods, and to set your expectation, this um, RDA was purchased for the purpose of this review. Well, ever since the man um, purchased or hindi, we always give it to you straight, guys. Currently on series um, with the Conciliary mod, as you can see, and build this Prismosis um, Premium N90 wires, nine wraps of the um, Prism Clapton 3.5 millimeter guide, reading at 0.23 ohms. So be careful, this is not for newbies. This is very low compared to the um, suggested. Uh, at least um, 0.30 I mean at most 0.30 na yung um, ibibuild nyo sa mga series mods nyo kanina ko lang try na ito binuild ko I'll show you um, the build later on well koto natin yung kasama sa Prismosis pack I'll check muna tayo uh, test fire pala medyo malaki yung build again 9 wraps 3.5 mm guide rocking at 0.23 ohms Matuyo. Battery pala natin BTC5. Um, airflow natin, Cyclops wide open. Later on, makikita nyo yung mga airflow options natin. Cloud check guys. Sarap. Wide open, sobrang lasa pa rin. Oh, Hindi na ako focus pero at least makita nyo man lock. Ah. Sarap. And by the way pala guys, para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, um, Bricks Makino is the man behind the Geisha Katana mod. This is in fact um, the first project or first solo project ni um, Tall Bricks. Because Geisha, I believe meron siyang um, kakolab dun or may partner na maker, I guess, mother. And that was his project. Ngayon siya naglabas ng RDA na I believe solo project niya. Ito yung picture ng um, Geisha Katana para sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam. Well, I've been using this um, RDA for more than 4 weeks now. Well, I've tried it sa iba't ibang mods. And earlier today, bago ako mag um, prepare para sa review, uh, naisip ko hindi ko pa lang siya natatry sa series. So, binildan ko siya. I just um, thought of, um, you know, taking a picture of it para mapakita ko sa inyo na kasha siya. And kayang mag-build. Tinry ko, tinesfire ko, naisip ko na ito na lang din yung gamitin for this review. Kasi nakagamit na ako dito na, well, mostly sa single bat mods na 26 gauge na Fuse Clapton. Um, nakita nyo naman yun sa Prismosis review natin. Tiger Wire. Gamit natin dun sa Raffle Mechanics sa Beer Mug Vlog 3. I've tried Aliens. I've tried, um, natry ko rin mag-MTL. Um, Nag-fuse Clapton din ako dun na 28 gauge. Hindi ko palang natatry is SS Round Wire for MTL setup. Hindi ko siya matry kasi wala akong ang tawag dun? Heatsink. Meron pala ako nun pero hindi ko lang kung bakit hindi nagte-thread tong ano um, uh, Yuri RDA doon but um, I haven't tried um, using a different um, heatsink kasi hindi ko nakahiram hindi ko nakabili wala ko mahanap siguro pag nakatry ako ng ibang variable mod or na heatsink pag nagkaroon ako ng iba I'll try to show it to you I'll make sure to let you know para mas matry natin yung round wire for MTL kasi natry ko siya sa mech and then hindi ko kinapapakita ko sa inyo later yun um, nag video kasi ko nung first day na ma-receive ko tinry ko kagad yung kasi sinabi sa akin ni uh, Tall Bricks na pwede din daw sa MTL sabi ko weh hindi ko naniniwala yun Um, yun agad yung unang unang kong binild okay pack lang isa then jump tayo sa specs okay So, basahin ko lang yung specs sa inyo, guys. URI RDA by Bricks Makino Innovation. Specs, uh, 24mm outside diameter RDA, 21mm inner diameter, and 19mm in height. Colors available, 
stainless steel, brass, and anodized black aluminum. And I believe um, they also have the um, Ultem, but that would be just an add-on. Wala siya sa option sa specs, so feeling ko add-on lang talaga siya. Three-way airflow system, stainless steel post and post screws, bare copper 510 pin, bottom feed squonk pin ready, direct lung, flavor, and restricted direct lung airflow control system and that will be it for the specs of the URI RDA alright later on sa dive down papakita ko sa inyo yung sinasabi nila sa airflow system pahipak lang muna ulit then jump na tayo sa dive down sarap wide open pa tong airflow nya stick ganda um, ang liit lang nya Nakita nyo naman. Very nice. So, diretso na tayo sa dive down ng URI RDA. Then, um, you know, balik tayo sa taas. Um, I'll talk more about it. I'll give you my pros, cons, price, and all that shit. Stay tuned, guys. Alright, so there you go. That's how I received the um, URI RDA by Bricks Makino Innovation PH. In a black tin can. So, yeah, nothing fancy. So, this is good to um, store your um, spares or use it for something else Ay, ito pala. so there that's the um, sticker Frex Makino Innovation the logo and the name of the RDA cool alright so here nung na-receive ko to it's um, in a separate um, ziplock bag pero tinapon ko na nung nilinis ko kasi madumi na feeling ko may oil eh then the spares naman tsaka uh, itong mga to magkakasama sya sa isa Pero after ko kasi linisin, hindi ko na siya sinama ulit. Para hindi madumihan. Alright. Set aside muna natin. Punta tayo sa RDA. So, here's a quick look. Ikot lang natin. Alright. So, here. Here's the logo. Logo and we also have knurlings here. One-sided knurling. Not the usual crisscross. Then, um, Cyclops Airflow. Then, dito sa taas, we have this design. Like a crown design. I'm not sure ano tawag dito. And the drip tip. Nice shape ng drip tip. Very comfortable. And at the bottom, there's the copper 510 pin. And engraving. So, you have Yuri. Um, Rex Makino's uh, logo. Warnings here. Serial number, I got 005. And also here, Bricks Makino Innovation PH. Very nice. Ang ganda ng engraving ng Bricks Makino. Dito lang sa maliliit, I'm not sure. Masyado sigurong detailed para i-engraving ng ganito kanipis. Siguro mas maganda kung ano. Ni-laser na lang nila para mas detailed. Anyway, so gusto ko lang sabihin maganda yung tolerance niya pag bagong linis. Bagong linis to eh. Maganda yung tolerance ng o-ring niya. Mamaya natin punta yung build deck. Kalasin muna natin siya. Alright. 4 pieces ang ating atomizer just the atomizer um, di pa kasama yung spares so we have the sleeve so ito yung pinaka not really air, airflow um, control but this, ito yung nag-hold ng airflow nyo so tagusan nyan yan Yuri para syang sing sing let's go then um, the drip tip ito pala ako nakagasigas nyan ayun nakita nyo yung gasgas <laughs> so 1 o-ring nice ang tolerance din maganda yung tolerance nya dito I like it. Nothing fancy. But um, I must say, this is very comfortable. Huli ko na to. Build deck. We have flat screws all across. Very good. Very nice. Very tough. Hindi ako nagka-issue. And um, kahit nung sumablay yung pag-screw ko, wala naman naging um, tama. Ito yung post holes natin. Here's the whole build deck. Here's the positive, the negative. So, one piece lang siya sa deck. Which is good to minimize voltage drop. Ito, kita nyo naman yung copper pin dito. Maganda yung space nya. Positive and negative post. Well, looking at this um, post holes, mukha sya maliit. So, katin muna natin yung... Ay, bumili pala ako nito para dito. <laughs> so, we have about 2.1. 1.5. 2.1 by 1.5. Yung post hole nya. Wala akong panukot ng juice well, pero teka. Tansyahin ko. So, about um, 2.5 mm yung lalim ng juice well. For me, reasonable. Not bad at all. But well, based on my experience, I drip more often. Kumbaga. But of course, this is a low-profile RDA. Very understandable. I've seen um, worse or mas mababaw. Flathead screw. Okay naman. Maganda. Mataba yung ano niya. Screws. Which is very good. So, yan. There. Very nice, very nice. Cute. Um, compact na compact. And kung makikita nyo dito, 
ang kapal ng build deck wall. Yeah, about 1.3 mm yung ano natin, yung um, build deck wall. No problem naman. Um, point ko lang is, kumbaga makapal yung material talaga niya and um, that's really good. So, yung sleeve pala natin, sukatin na rin natin. 1.3. So, pareha sila ng kapal. Ayan yan. Kung makikita nyo, ayan yung pinaka build deck nyo. Pag may build na, yan may juice. I would say, um, this is still flavorful for a um, 24 mm RDA dahil kind of um, condensed yung ano niya. Build deck. Alright, dito na tayo. Favorite part ko sa RDA, ang airflow control. Kung makikita nyo, meron siyang tatlong options. Pag tinwist nyo, same siya sa kabilang side. So, yan. Ayan, yung dalawa, di ba? So, pwedeng isa lang din. Dalawa. Ito yung pinakamaliit. Then, balik tayo sa Cyclops. Alright? So, kapag tinwist nyo kasi to, for me, napakaganda nung mga airflow options nito. We have one. So, syempre, freely nyo siyang maimu-move. Depende sa trip nyo. So, napakarami. So, hanggang sa pinakamaliit. Well, not really. Siguro, ito na yung pinakamaliit niya. Wait, 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 wait. Iyan. So, yan yung pinakamaliit niya. Let's try on the other side. So, pinakamaliit niya would be from the Cyclops ha, would be around that then. So, same lang halos. But this is not bad. Kasi for me, next to this um, airflow hole size, eh, di lumipat na kayo sa next hole, di ba? So, punta muna tayo dito. You have the option to open just one hole dun sa dalawa. Ayan. Isa. Then, open yung dalawa. Alright. Actually, gusto ko tong airflow na to. Trip ko siya sa ibang, sa on some builds. Then, again, pwede nyo gawing isa lang. Then, mapupunta tayo dun sa smallest air hole nya. Air. Sinabi sa akin yung size nito eh. So, kontin natin. About 8.8mm uh, yung lapad na cyclops natin. And then, yung taas naman nya, 2mm. So, 8.8 by, 8 .8 by 2. Then, yung um, diameter naman ng ano natin, 2.2mm yung dalawa. Then, yung smallest air flow natin, or air hole, 1mm. Very nice. So, 1mm. Then you got um, 2mm na dalawa, but um, you have the option to just open one on each side. Then you have Cyclops, balaki sa buhay nyo kung gaano kasikip nyo gusto. Well, I really like this one. Kahit anong airflow configuration ng trip nyo, wala tayong problema kasi freely nyong ma-install itong um, top cap dito sa build deck. So, pwede nyo siyang itapat sa coil, pwede nyo sa gilid, pwede nyo sa post kung trip nyo, bala kayo. <laughs> But um, I mean, you can definitely um, put this uh, center ng coil, di ba? Which is something that um, I really like. Yeah, let's go. Yan. So, tapos na tayo dyan. Punta naman tayo sa spares, guys. So, una, this is very interesting. Well, let me know if may nakita na kayong iba. But there's a squonk pin na copper. So, we have um, two extra post screws copper squonk pin and we also have um, extra o-ring which is always good itong mga inclusion to feeling ito tandaan nyo guys ha itong mga to yung natitira sa bag it's a must okay sorry nagpalit lang ang camera so ganyan yun lang kasi ako nakakita ng squonk pin na copper but um, this is very um, nice so we can say na hindi ma sa sacrifice yung power ng atomizer when you go on squonk configuration so very good um i have yet to try i'll make sure to um keep you posted once na matry ko to you know probably um just make sure na linisya nyo siya ng maigi make sure to use hot water since nag uh, ano siya nagpapatina kumbaga so balik ko lang to dito and another interesting feature ni yuri rda would be the ultim plug this is for your single coil option hindi siya kasama sa initial packaging ng yuri rda i believe this is for additional 500 pesos if you want. So here, yan, sakto siya dyan. Then you can run your atomizer on single coil. Alright. So other than that, we have 510 drip tip. Um, tat, kasi malaki to. Malaki yung bore niya. So meron kayong con pang convertitor adapter. So you just put it there. Yan, medyo madihin lang. So, medyo flush siya dun sa tip ng crown. Basta crown tawag ko. Then, to Sakto siya dito. Alright. So, eto. Sukatin ko sa ilalim. 
2mm uh, very unusual for a 510 drip tip but um, this is definitely for your um, MTL or restricted um, direct to long. I have tried using this for an MTL setup and um, it really works with um, the smallest air hole, which is the 1mm air hole. Again, I have a thousand in your video. But this is very surprising. No one has been able to use it. It's MTL. Well, uh, looking here, okay lang naman. nothing bad, but at least you have the option, diba? That's um very important, and you may also use different drip tips. Sakto nga meron ako drip. Try ko mo try natin. Try natin. Di ko pa na try, but um let's see. So I have here vicious ant um five ten drip tip, kulay orange, vicious ant. So try natin kung kasya. Ooh, sakto. So yun kung may mga five ten drip tips kayo, this is very nice. So matchy matchy. Okay din naman. So, if gagamitin ko for MTL or restricted direct, mas prefer ko to yung included. Alright. Yun lang. Napakita ko na lahat um, yung components ng um, RDA. Kalasin pa ba natin? Huwag na. Gets nyo naman ako kung paano palitan to eh. But, um, well, sige. Kalasin natin. Lagi naman natin kinakalas ng mga bagay-bagay dito sa channel natin. Yun. Sakto. So, tingnan natin kung swak si Spunkman. Peak insulator. Nothing fancy. Ayun. Hindi ko lang pala na gitna. Sorry ulits nung camera. But um, there, hindi siya nakaangat. So when you squonk it, may higup lahat ng excess juice which is very good and very ideal for a low pro RDA. Kung baga hindi nyo na kailangang mag-monitor ng pagpatak nyo kung baga. Kahit medyo ma-oversquonk kayo, sure kayo na may higup yung excess. Hindi ko nakakalasin yung ano, ah, positive um, post. Um, maganda rin kasi nakaangat yung 510 nya. So, this is hybrid safe. Well, wala naman akong alam na squonk na hybrid. Pero parehas sila ng size eh. Hindi pala natin na-focus. So, pakita ko na lang din. There. So, same lang siya. Alright? Hybrid safe, guys. Awesome. So, balik na natin siya. And last pala, you have extra stickers. You should receive two. Ako kasi na-receive ko isa. Um, dapat nakuha nyo itong Yuri sticker na to. And, um, natatang... And your sticker, and then you'll have another sticker na ganito yung itsura naman niya. So nasa loob parehas yan makukuha nyo. So balik na natin. And then bilangin pala muna natin. So ito yung mga marireceive nyo kapag bumili kayo ng Yuri RDA. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 um, pieces in total. Um, given na yung build kasi isang buo. Uh, balik na natin siya. So ito muna. Airflow. Control. The sleeve the um, build deck and the RDA again here's your spares there you go so um, balik tayo sa taas let's talk more about the um, Yuri RDA and there you go guys let's dive down to the um, Yuri RDA by Bricks Makina Innovation PH and nakalimutan ko lang ipakita yung um, authenticity card may kasama siyang authenticity card upon receiving kasama siya ng um, tin can with the um, you know everything na pinakita ko sa dive down and eto siya pakita ko na sa inyo yung picture post nyo na lang if you wanna read it and of course um, having an authenticity card is always nice for your um, locally made or limited edition um, peers kumbaga mapa mod or mapa RDA pa yan diba So, always cool. So, bago tayo mag-jump sa pros and cons, papakita ko muna sa inyo ko yung build na nilagay ko dito. Um, again, explain ko naman sa inyo yung specs, pero gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo in focus na kaya talaga kasi I'm kind of skeptical din kasi nung una na magkakasya yung series build dito. And I tried. Um, kind of low. Again, um, I don't recommend this uh, for newbies. And if you're going to try or imitate this build, make sure to know Ohm's Law, battery safety, and also proper carrying of your mech mod. Alright, panoorin natin together. So there, kung makikita nyo, top view of the um, build. Kaka-install ko lang, pero hindi ko pa na dry fire. And kung makikita nyo dyan, kasya naman talaga siya. But um, I highly suggest, um, make sure talaga na sipatin nyo na kasya siya. Again, this is on 3.5mm guide. Para rin makita nyo na may enough space pa para sa wicking nyo. And what I did is, tinanggal ko yung um, drip tip um, para matanaw nyo kung sasayad ba siya sa barrel or dun sa sleeve ng RDA nyo. And yan, ganito ko siya ginagawa. Ang gusto ko lagi sa airflow ko is nakatutok sa ilalim ng coils or at least sa bottom half ng coil nakatutok like that. So from there, matatanaw nyo rin naman um, kung sa sayad, um, especially na malapad naman yung um, airflow nya. Yan, yung tinuturo ko ng um, tweezers, make sure na hindi siya sumasayad. 
Well, hindi ko siya na dry fire dito nang nakaganyan, but um, I highly suggest na i-dry fire nyo siya um, kung malapad yung builds nyo or malaki yung guide na ginamit nyo. Kung baga pag may ground, makikita nyo kasi kung may nakadikit na part ng coil dun sa negative part ng um, RDA nyo, which is the sleeve. So, yun yung negative contact nyo. And kapag gines fire nyo siya, yun agad yung mag-glow. And there's a big chance na maputol siya. Which is, kailangan nating iwasan. Kasi, hindi natin masabi. Minsan kasi, pag malalaki na yung wire na ginamit natin, mas naapektuhan yung battery kumpara sa build. Mas okay yun kung um, yung build nyo yung maapektuhan. Pero delikado kasi kapag yung battery na. Pag hindi kayang putulin ng power yung wire, alam nyo na kung ano yung isang mapuputol. <laughs> Puputok yung battery, tapos papuputol yung daliri nyo. Ganon. Be careful lang. Um, I just want to show you na it is possible and um, kaya mag-build ng series dito sa RDA given a low pro siya and condensed yung chamber niya. And if you think na hindi ka siya yung favorite wire nyo dito, I highly suggest na gumamit kayo ng ibang wire with high resistance. Probably um, Canthal Aliens or um, Canthal na Claptons. That's what I would suggest. Alam nyo kasi kapag um, low resistance wire yung ginagamit nyo, ang tendency is mag-add kayo ng wraps. And special dito, we're using um, premium N90 wire by Persmosis. Okay sa akin, gusto ko yung build na to for my preference. Yun nga lang, hindi ko siya masuggest para sa inyo. Yun lang, jump naman tayo ngayon sa pros and cons ko para sa Yuri RDA. First, start tayo sa pros. Ang uh, masasabi kong pro dito would be um, the build quality. I really like it kasi ako ilang beses ko nang nabagsak yung um, top cap. Like um, three or four times ko na siyang nabagsak. Na medyo mataas ha, like table height. And yung isa pa, na sanggay ko talaga siya ng malakas. So malbog-talbog siya. Kasi makapal siya kahit mabigat, hindi naapektuhan nung mga bagsak-bagsak. Yung itsura niya, yung hindi siya nagka-dent or hindi siya na-yupi and um, naka-experience kasi ako sa ibang RDAs na nung nabagsak. Alam niyo napapansin niyo, biglang sumikip kasi nga hindi na siya ganun kabilog. Mostly na experience ko yun sa mga maninipis na sleeve ng RDA or maninipis na top cap. Kung titignan niyo dun sa dive down, ang kapal ang kapal ng lahat actually. Walang, walang wala yatang manipis dito. Feeling ko pinakamanipis dito yung pick insulator pero wala tayong problema dun as long as um, ma-avoid natin yung ground niya or hard short, that's all good for me. But the rest, sobrang beefy ng mga components na tong RDA na to. Post, build wall, AFC, sleeve. Grabe, ang ano, ang kapal lahat. And I really like it. Alam niyo yun, parang ang kit niya tignan, pero ang macho pa din kasi ang lalapad niya. I really like that one, um, the build quality. Ganda. And um, looking at it, ang premium niya tignan. Alam niyo yun, ang high-end. So, well, this is high-end, of course. And um, natutuwa ako kapag um, napapanindigan ng mga makers yung branding nila or ganong reputation, kumbaga. So, sinabi ko rin pala kay Bricks na parang akong ang liit nung um, post hole. And sinabi niya kasha daw yung frame the aliens. O sige, sabi ko ako, itatry ako. Alien wire dito. And um, panarin natin na sabay. Eto. Feeling ko sa gitna lang naman kailangan ko. By the way, um, yung ipapakita natin yung coils. Maniwala kasi hindi, tatlong taon na sa akin to. Emulation coils, um, PH or Emulation PH by Sir Carlo Hizon. Shout out, sir. So, this is um, given to me by Sir Carlo Hizon and never ko siyang ginamit. Um, hindi ko lang kung sentimental ako. O, wala, terenesure ko lang. Wala, di ko makahanap ng timing or perfect timing na gamitin siya. Hindi ko siya gagamitin but I'll just try to insert these coils to the um, URI RDA. So, this is um, interlocking um, Fralians 228 gauge na N80. 6 na 0.3 Cantal. Piling ko Cantal A1 to. Then, um, 238 gauge na N80. Packing at 0.10 to 0.12 ohms. Ito yung macro shot pakita ko sa inyo. Para mas up close yung maintindihan ko ang nature ng Fralians. So, insert na natin siya dito. Ha? Ah, kasha? Feeling ko parang kasha naman. So, yes. Kasha siya. Hindi ko na ayusin, ha? Ayan. Kasha naman siya. So, yeah. I believe. Ayan, no? May, I believe. siya masikip? <laughs> yes, uh, totoo rin. Hindi siya masikip, may space pa. So, hindi ko na inayos yung installation ng aliens. Gusto ko lang naman makita na kakasya yung legs niya sa um, post hole. Kaya, yun, sinukso ko lang talaga siya. Yan, yun ang naging itsura yung Pag dyan, kanina. Wala, para lang makita nyo na kasya. Trinay ko lang siya na sa kit na parehas. Para lang makita nyo na kasya siya. Alright. So, there. 
Um, of course, shout out kay Sir Carlo Hazon. Uh, maraming maraming salamat. It's been three years. Um, nasa akin pa rin yung um, coil na binigay mo. Um, this was during the time na uh, umorder ako sa kanya and nag- uh, um, post din ako ng review dun sa Emulation PH na coils. So, maraming maraming salamat um, Sir Carlo Hazon. Yan, nakita nyo kasha siya. And nakita nyo rin naman yung tura nung um, interlocking fairlands. Framed kasi siya. May um, flat wire sa magkabilang dulo. Tapos yung interlocking doon would be the wrap. So, dalawang decoiled um, Clapton wrap siya. Tapos parang basta, ganun naka pulupot. So, next pro for me would be the design. For the design, kind of subjective for me kasi may masasabi rin akong aspect ng design na part ng cons ko. So, later on, sabihin ko sa inyo But for the most part, I really like the design. You know, it's very simple, very functional. Kung makikita nyo dito yung sinasabi ko nga na one-way knurling. <laughs> very functional in terms of choosing your um, preferred airflow for additional grip siya. And yung crown, yung tinatawag ko naman na crown, this is um, comfortable feeling ko kasi may sharp edges siya pero wala I didn't feel any sharp edges dito um, sa lahat ng part ng um, atomizer and na-surprise ako dun sa feel kapag um, ginagamit ko siya kasi sumasaya din yung lobby ko dito sa crown dahil um, stubby din yung drip tip natin also the drip tip ganda rin ng pagkakadesign sa kanya bumagay siya sexy drip tip I guess yes we could say that maganda um, very comfortable guys kahit sumasaya dun sa crown yung lobby niya And speaking of drip tip, maglalabas din sila ng other designs ng drip tip nila. They have the long one, they have the super low. And I'm very excited about that. Kukuha rin ako. I'll make sure to post um, a picture of it kapag nakuha ko na siya. And yun, as part of the design, I really like the airflow. Again, you have the freedom to choose the airflow that you like. Mukha kasi siyang maliit sa dive down pero malaki rin yung airflow niya kung tutuusin. Dito, siguro kung hindi series yung gamit ko, I would not use this um, on wide open airflow. Well, since malaki yung build natin and naka-series tayo, this is just right. Trinay ko kanina na bawasan yung airflow. Mas ma-flavor, mas mainit and all but, well, okay lang naman sa akin eh. Okay yung wide airflow sa akin. Pero yun nga, feeling ko, if gagamitin ko sa single bat sa parallel feeling ko hindi ko siya i-wide open. Bababasan ko siya. And ang um, pinaka nagustuhan ko sa, sa usual builds ko for single bat mods is yung two-hole airflow option nila. So yung dalawang 2.2 mm. I really like that airflow. And uh, minsan, half lang. Half ng Cyclops. Iba eh. May ibang feel yung ano. Yung dalawang butas. <laughs> Basta. Uh, I had suggest na itry nyo siya. Another pro for me for UURDA would be flavor. This is very flavorful as well. Kind of surprising kasi in-expect ko na hindi na siya ganun ka-flavor especially na sana itayo sa favorite nating RDA. You know, very low profile and this one is 19mm in height so mas mataas siya and um, syempre nasa side na yung, yung coils natin. Nag-compensate kasi sila dun sa design mismo. Thick wall for the build deck and um, thick sleeves as well. And naging condensed talaga yung chamber niya. Tapos ipapartner mo pa dun sa airflow options niya then um, you know very flavorful guys sarap malasa malasa um, promise guys and um, next pro natin would be versatility as mentioned dun sa specs ng Yuri RDA you can use this RDA for um, direct lung vaping restricted direct lung vaping or flavor chasing and mouth to lung I really like that option again I was really surprised na try ko siya and speaking of MTL um, I'll show you a clip nung first time kung nag build dito sa Yuri RDA with an MTL um, setup I used the ultim plug um, to rock it on single coil 5 wraps of um, 28 gauge uh, fuse clapton by Prismosis Premium N90 wires and tingnan yung reaction ko guys <laughs> Uh, to, to, um, 28 gauge 24 mg double fire the ring I this is good smallest air flow to full time in the camera yes everything Kuha muna ako ng box. Pigat. Pero ano ito? Mabisa, mabisa. Ay, mahal. Pag sumakad sa kamay ko, sakbo ako. Narinig na ako ni Paul. Ay, mo 
I still have. Wait, let's try the variable. Medyo mabigat sa mic. I still believe. Ah. So there, ginamit ko kasi is 24MG na Blue Fire at Tiramisu. Grabe na bigla ako. But um, I must say, with the way how you vape and MTL, it would really work, guys. You know, yung restriction ng airflow na 1mm and yung restriction na makukuha nyo from the drip tip, sobrang liit nung um, inner diameter. It would really work, guys. Really um, excited to try this on a stainless steel round wire na ginagamit ko sa tank. Siyempre, sa variable mode for more control. So um, I'll make sure to keep you posted kapag natry ko na siya. I assure you guys na it would work on an MTL setup. And of course, um, since it works on MTL nyo on single coil, it would also work on your um, flavor chasing um, single coil option. Depending sa inyo, you have lots of options. Talagang super versatile na itong um, RDA na to in terms of that. You know, flavor chasing, cloud chasing, even MTL. Diba? Speaking of cloud chasing, so pakita ko na lang ulit sa inyo. Ha? Isa pa. Pinakita ko na sa inyo eh, pero pakita ko ulit. <clears throat> Adjust tayo. Saan nyo ba ba ako? So there, huh. sarap, grabe. So nakakatawa lang din yung option na yun that you could also use it on series setup. Siguro hindi kasha yung um, kumare, series aliens, mga ganyan. But of course, syempre tayo mag-adjust sa RDA, diba? But I must say, series option on this RDA is very doable. Again, kung may favorite nga kayong mga coils for series, then try something else kung feeling nyo hindi siya kakasya. Try to, um, you know, use a bigger guide, I guess, para mas mapakipot natin siya. Pero sa akin, feeling ko kasya pa to ng 10 wraps siguro. I'm using 9 wraps of Clapton. Feeling ko 10 wraps, that's 3mm, would be clocking around the same um, reading. Feeling ko mas okay yun para less worry na tumama siya. Kasi tinry ko rin na 3.5 talaga para mapakita sa inyo na kaya siya kung gano'ng kalayo yung aabutin bago tumama sa wall or sa sleeve. Feeling ko 4 hindi magkakasya but um, depende pa rin sa wire nyo. Kung round wire lang naman, feeling ko kasya yung 4mm and kung hindi naman siya ganun kalapad. Diba? Well, versatility wise, um, if you're gonna ask me if this could be used for um, you know, competition, as in cloud chasing competition, maybe this is not something that you would consider um, right off the bat but um, maybe you could try. Especially kapag lumabas na yung um, isang drip tip nila, they would release a long one. That could be an option for you. Kung ako itatanong yan, personal opinion ko if you're gonna you know, use an RDA for cloud chasing in competition. Ako ang pipiliin ko is yung talagang maraming airflow with side and bottom or um, dalawang side airflow. But for me, looking at my cloud chase naman ng series, for me okay siya. Kung yung ano lang naman kayo, usual cloud chaser, not the competition type. And last part for my pro that's also under versatility would be the options options in terms of dressing your RDA. Kasi you have two options sa drip tip nila and um, three options sa sleeves nila with another option for an add-on. Add-on would be the um, Ultem. Drip tip option would be a black and white Delrin. And for the um, color of the sleeves, sinabi ko sa specs kanina, stainless steel, brass, and also black anodized aluminum. Depende sa setup siguro or sa mode na paggagamitan nyo. Pero wala akong nakita na ultim lang. So, I guess that's just an add-on. But um, still, having that kind of option. Alam naman kasi natin na mahal yung material, the ultim. Possibly, that's one of the reasons na isip ko kung bakit hindi nila sinama yun sa options. Siguro add-on dahil, uh, you know, for separate pricing din siya. Di ba? So, ayun. Yun yung mga pros ko for um, the RDA. Siyempre, jump naman tayo sa cons. Cons ko naman, dalawa. Um, first, the design. Elaborate ko na lang siya kasi dalawang aspect ng design yung nakita kong cons for me. Very subjective naman. Just for my own preference lang naman siya. Siyempre, unang-una ko nakita is yung design sa labas, yung sleeve. For me, um, knowing na, you know, the logo of Yuri, abangan nga natin dito. Wait lang. Instead of um, the Yuri engraving dito, feeling ko mas bagay ito. <laughs> Piling ko mas maangas kung yun nakalagay dito. Pero nung um, sinot ko na kasi yung quick view or yung kind of teaser, na-appreciate ko na siya. Yung font niya kasi kind of um, oriental din, kind of Japanese yung font na ginamit for the Yuri. Again, na-appreciate ko siya but um, kung ako itatanongin, kung pabibiliin ako, mas patitripan ko itong logo na to. Mas maangas feeling ko. And another subjective con na naisip ko, would be the engraving at the bottom. Sinabi ko naman sa dive down, feeling ko mas okay kung ni-laser engrave nila kasi hindi na halos makita yung details. Well, as we all know, laser engraving is more precise. So, feeling ko mas magpa-pop yun. Pero yung Bricks Makino innovation nila na 
um, engraving sobrang nagustuhan ko yun and maganda siya makintab yung loob and all kaartehan ko lang naman yun um, kaya very subjective pero on a serious note meron din akong con for um, the design this is also subjective kasi nga sinabi ko kanina dun sa design part dun sa pro ko na beefy chunky yung um, parts niya, yung post, yung sleeves, yung wall, and everything. Lahat makapal, which is good in terms of, syempre, yung durability and yung longevity kumbaga ng gear nyo. And, um, may feel nyo talaga na super premium niya, walang tinipid na part. Um, but, they could have utilized the space more for your builds, I guess. Ako, malaki na yung build ko ngayon na ginagamit. But maybe I could have used a um, wider build, a bigger build, if um, natipid nila yung space na yun. Wala akong reklamo on how it is right now. Iniisip ko rin kasi, if they won't do that, baka masacrifice yung flavor. But um, I guess, just a, you know, a few, few millimeters um, smaller on some parts would really help out. Well, as you have seen dun sa series build nung um, vinidyohan ko siya, mapapansin nyo yung lapad nung post. Feeling ko mas mapapanipis pa yung post para mas maigit na natin or ma maisiksik natin pagit na yung coils. And kung mas napanipis natin yung wall siguro nung uh, build deck, yung sleeve, magkakaroon tayo ng extra space siguro. ba Mas maging confident tayo na maglagay ng uh, 4mm builds, even more exotic coils. Hindi tayo mag-worry. Well, kasha naman siya. For me, it would be more versatile siguro if uh, masisave natin yung mga spaces na yon for our coils. ba I must say, nag-pay off din naman yung makapal na wall and all dahil ma-flavor talaga siya, di ba? But, um, I'm just nitpicking, I guess, dun sa mga nakita kong cons. Well, lastly, well, this is not really a con, but, um, this is more of a comment. That would be pricing. I would just like to justify the pricing of this RDA. So, sasabi ko na siya, pricing of this RDA is at 4,000 pesos. Justification would be, this is high-end from Bricks Makina Innovation PH, and, um, this is also limited edition with only 50 pieces made, and, um, with only 50 pieces, um, isa doon is kay Bricks, isa doon is sa akin. Then the rest of the, um, you know, 48 na punta sa iba, sa mga buyers. Or mapupunta. This is something that I would really recommend for you to try. And I would also say na this is something that I would use or something that I could see myself using regularly and um, for a long time talaga. Alam ko tatagal tong RDA na to. Tatagal sa akin and tatagal siya dahil sa build quality niya. Again, 4,000 pesos and that will be 4,500 pesos if you're going to purchase this with the Ultim plug. So again, the Ultim plug is an add-on for you to use it on single coil. So yun lang. Again, hindi siya pro, hindi siya con. But 4,000 pesos for this kind of RDA is something that I would understand with these options available in terms of, you know, selecting the colors that you want for the drip tip, for the sleeves, having an add-on for the Ultim if you're, you know, um, an Ultim guy. <laughs> or ultim type of vapor ma ultim sa katawan kumbaga and also with the airflow options flavor chasing cloud chasing especially the mouth to lang hindi ako makamubun dun sa MTL na alam niya nakakatuwa kasi ako bumili pa ako ng uh, tank for MTL and wala akong ibang RDA na kaya mag cater ng um, MTL other than this sanay naman na tayo sa mga high end sa mga limited edition so with only 50 may itindihan ko din alam naman natin na kapag mas konti yung supply supply in terms of production kasi alam naman natin si planta mas marami mas mura mas konti mas mahal kapag nag-release ng mod na 30 pieces, 50 pieces, I'm sure mahal yan. 50 pieces lang tayong meron neto. Para sa mga collectors and sa mga naghahanap ng all-in-one RDA or something that would cater to most of vaping preferences. And yun nga, sinabi ko nga sa inyo, previous vlog and sa internet tong vlog na to, that um, Tall Bricks is claiming that this is an all-in-one low pro RDA. And I must say that that statement is very plausible. I guess, yes. Siguro maraming magsasabi ng kung ano-anong build na hindi pwede dito kung ano-anong trip nila na hindi pwede. Ano, ano pa ba? Sige, mag tayo. So, cloud chasing. Pwede. But not really competition siguro. But still, pwede nyong itry. Restricted, direct lang vaping. Very possible. Mouth to lung. Very possible. What else? Series builds. Exotic builds. Kasha. Single coil, dual coil. Hmm. Naisip ko. Quad coil. Tri coil, quad coil. Maybe not. Quad coil siguro super liit na coils. Kasha. Yun lang naman yung naisip ko. Sino pa ba nagka-quad coil? Hmm? possibly mga nagko-compete talaga. So I guess this would pass as an all-in-one low pro RDA given na ang pinag-uusapan ay category lamang ng low profile RDA. Kasi hindi naman usual na ginagamit ng low pro RDA for cloud chasing competition and for super daming coils like tri-coil, quad-coil or limang coils bala sa buhay nyo. But um, there are some RDAs that could cater that. But um, this one I would not take it against this RDA kasi nga this is categorized as a low pro RDA. There. Ngayon ko lang siya actually inisip. Tingnan siya iniisip kanina. Hindi <laughs> ko siya pinaghandaan. Yes! I would agree. This is your all-in-one low-pro RDA. The Yuri RDA by Bricks Makina Innovation PH.
Alright, well, sinabi ko naman na kanina, but kung tatanungin niyo ulit ako, if I would recommend this to um, all of you, yes, this is um, highly recommended by Andre Mo Vapes. Yuri RDA, super solid. Pricing might not be for everyone. You know, with this kind of release, very um, limited quantities, only 50 pieces, as I've mentioned. I, I think less than 20 na lang available as of this um, recording. Super sulit niya, especially for the collectors. For those who have vaping budget, I highly suggest you grab one now and uh, let me know kapag natry niya na. And para dun sa mga nakapag-try na, na nanonood na tong review na to, make sure to let me know your thoughts if magmamatch yung um, pros and cons natin and if you can add more to either pros or to the cons, feel free to um, leave a comment down below. And yeah, na natutuwa ko. Ang cute niya, ang liit niya. Kasi itong um, series mode na to ng Conciliar is uh, very compact. Uh, maliit lang din siya and bumagay. Bumagay itong um, RDA. And nakita nyo rin naman sa last vlog, um, nilagay ko to sa HT's Wood Special. Bagay din siya. Favorite ko siyang gamitin sa S3D mode kasi parehas lang maliit. Parehas cute kasi. Parehas stubby yung itsura walang sharp edges and all maporma for me maporma siya so I guess that's it guys for my uh, <laughs> nabulunan pa yun no? so I guess that's it guys for my um, review on the uh, Yuri RDA by Bricks Magano Innovation PH again I had suggest na kumuha na kayo bago pa maubos yung limited edition na RDA na to Alright, so uh, maraming maraming salamat for tuning in. Um, of course, before tayo mag-close ng vlog, um, I would like to thank um, our friends from the vaping industry. Pina-flash ko dito. Vaprite, ang pinakamasarap na juice sa buong mundo. Ang gamit natin ay 3MG na RY4 Butterscotch. Kasi naka-series tayo. Ayoko mag-6. Baka manake out ako. Also, Prismosis Premium N90 wires. Um, yung gamit nating wire dito sa review na to. Which is again, the Pris Clapton 24 gauge. Also, um, KD Clothing. Trish ko yung Kasik Tees para sa ating cap. Third straight vlog natin na ito yung gamit na sa sombrero. Dust Clothing. Um, Sir Migs, happy birthday. Birthday niya kahapon na ata. Today or kahapon, I'm not sure. Wala na sense of time. An orthodox um, concept store sa Pasig. Check it out. Marami siyang binibentang uh, mga accessories. So make sure to drop by dun sa physical store nila. You can also order online. Again, an orthodox concept store by Mix Custodio. Yeah! And of course, yung gamit nating mod for today. Series mod. Conciliary mod by um, Zito Mods. Um, shout out Sir James Alvieso. We're still waiting para sa next project mo. Kind of busy, I know. Um, kind of inactive as well um, lately. But um, very, very understandable naman for everyone. And that would be it, guys. So um, next post natin dito sa channel would be the winner um, or winners ng um, Prismosis Premium and Antiwires um, raffle natin or giveaway. So stay tuned, guys. Um, again, you'll have probably, you know, few more days to join para makahabol kayo dun sa raffle natin. Um, check nyo yung previous vlog ko. Post ko na lang dito sa taas. Yun lang. As always, guys, um, lagi naman. Um, I'm very thankful for everyone who's watching, sharing my vlog. Thank you for your time. Um, thank you for tuning in. As always, don't forget to vape on, vape safe, and vape smart. Suporta lokal and always, always support your local vape shop, guys. Again, this is Andrea of Andre Mo Vapes. Till next video, guys. Stay safe. Peace out. So, yung muti ko pala makalimutan, si, um, si Kim, Yaya Ita, a.k.a. Mr. Provincian. Maraming maraming salamat kasi yung nag-chat um, sa akin. And, uh, well, kinamend niya lang yung previous vlog ko, yung Beer Mug Vlog 3. Sabi niya, sarap daw panoorin dahil doon sa setup, sa design and all. So, I tried a different angle dito sa kwarto natin. Ito kasi yung working stations namin ni Madam. Wala, in-include ko lang. I'm just trying different angles kasi dito sa bahay. Yun lang, ma-explore natin kung baga ano yung pinaka-okay, ano yung mag-work and all. So far, natuwa naman ako sa setup. Kita niyo ba? Jane. Ito yung PC ko. Ito yung PC ni Madam. Hindi ko na sinama yung CPU. Mahilaw eh. <laughs> Yun lang. Maraming maraming salamat. Na-appreciate ko yung comment. Um, shout out um, Kim. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat ko lagi. Ride soon. Yeah!